Some are doing it well. And I assure you, if oil is money, and we need money to build the schools, roads, and hospitals, if you find oil, you manage it well. If you find oil, you manage it well. Can you complain about that? The quotation above, made by former President J.A. Kufo, epitomizes the joy and euphoria Ghanaians, both home and abroad, had. But little did he know that his government policies and actions were going to reduce Ghana into a lame and sick African tiger that cannot lead and hunt for its prey. Are we really flying and zooming during the schools, the roads, and the hospital without a begging bowl in hand? This is a question. Are we really doing our roads and building the schools in the, with bowls and how we go out borrowing when we have oil money, which is being robbed and taken away from us? And now we want to go by governance, taking money from our pockets in the form of e lady to build schools and roads? No. On December 15, 2010, the late President Mills turned on the valve to officially start oil and gas production, which ushered Ghana into the League of Nations of Oil Producers. Even though there are currently three oil fields in production, we have selected the Jubilee field, being the flagship project for our discourse and comments because of events that took place before production started. We are also concentrating on the performance of the Jubilee fields, which started operating under a contract regime akin to the Ghana hybrid system, physical regime, which Ghanaians were made to believe or were told is superior to the accepted and to the accepted world standard production sharing agreement, PSC or, or contract. And also because of the information available to us, which we shall show you. Before production started in December 2010, workshops were held across the 10 regional capitals to solicit views from citizens how we were going to spend the first $5 billion from the Jubilee Fields in the first five years will be spent. The last leg of the workshop took place on 21st March 2010 at the Accra International Conference Center. Then advisor to the Minister of Finance, Mr. Amoku Tufo, may his soul rest in peace, led the workshop and announced to Ghanaians and the whole world that the country will earn 42 point two zero percent of the total production revenue from the Jubilee Fields. After 10 years of production, surprisingly, Ghana is yet to end the first five billion as we were made to believe. Our independent research revealed the country earned 4.735 billion from the three main sources of government take royalties, carried and participating interest, and corporate taxes representing 20.31% of total production revenue of $23.304 billion that was generated from the Jubilee Fields from 304 
1.47 million barrels of oil lifted from the field as of December 31st, 2020. Now, going by the Dr. Tufo's declaration, Ghana should have earned a cumulative revenue of 9.834 billion from the 23.304 billion, leaving 13.47 billion for the contractor parties. Isn't it strange? If we were to earn five billion in five years, in ten years, we have not earned that much. Even though the, we have generated 23.304 billion from the field, how come that that should happen to us? Now, our question as an organization is. What led to the shortfall of 9.0 view Ghana? Because she would not have been in this current financial crisis if at least the 9.834 billion due her under the bad hybrid system was fully earned. The, the $5.099 billion is more than five years of e lady revenue expected to be generated for our development that the government is expected to generate. Why is it the professors and the doctors in natural resources not questioning this? Because these are statements, these are facts which were there. Nobody is talking about it. The so-called civil society groups in extractive industries, nobody is talking about it. The civil society, the uh, uh, SCSO on platform, on the, uh, the, the, 30, with the 130 CSO platform on oil and gas. Why are they not talking about it to you? Why? These informations are all there. They are written. Uh, can you share the documents to them, please? Uh, the document you have there.